I've got what could be an interesting one here. This relative humidity hasn't changed off of 50%. Yeah, I've just been keeping an eye on it, kind of suspicious. And it's humid enough today that it should be higher than this. So let's get into it. This is Train's web interface for their tracer. I'm gonna go down here, outdoor air conditions. And we're at 50% humidity. Okay, and it says it's in service. Now, it can be fixed out of service. Still not making sense. Let's go up to the water tower and try to take a measurement on that. Water tower. And I gotta get right down underneath there somewhere. Now here's the sensor we're interested in. And this is the temperature probe that's in there. Then we've got this uh, four wire humidity sensor coming down to this board, which is going to, let's see if I can get that in focus. I don't know if you can see that. It says four to 20 milliamps out. Now, take a voltage reading on this but all that's really telling me is that I've got connection from the controller uh, to this device what I need is a milliamp reading and I'll explain why here in a second but I'm at 14 milliamps so I should be reading around 70% humidity Now, the reason for a milliamp sensor over a voltage sensor is if you have like a long run of wire, you're gonna have a voltage drop on that wire. And so whatever your sensor is reading is not gonna be accurately reported to the controller. You see what I'm saying? But no matter what kind of voltage drop you have on a circuit, the current in that circuit stays the same, and that's the reason for milliamp sensors, that they're 100% they're accurate no matter where they are in the building. They could be a thousand feet away and still be accurate. Now, and where is this, so the reference, that's important. We wanna see where this thing is coming from. So it's on a UC400 named this all right let's get into tracer now let me sorry I, I meant let's get into tu let me fire up tu all right i'm in the network now and remember our reference was this cooling tower <clears throat> can't show the entire screen because there's stuff up here that I need to keep private. Okay, um, now look at that. So, it is out of service. This one, I'll put it in service. So when it's in service, it's reading the minimum value. It's on this UC400, Universal Input 2, but we wanna make sure we're on the right UC400. So I'm gonna click Controller Settings, Protocol, all right, so our address for the UC400 is 18. And if we go in there. Just 
just see if this thing's configured correctly. Yeah, it's set up for four to 20 milliamps, zero to 100. So that percentage my meter was reading should be pretty accurate to what the sensor. All right. Let's go check this out. Address 18, Universal Input 2. Now here's our Universal Input 2. And, okay. Yeah, so. It's this pair right here. So there's our voltage out. If this wire is on this terminal, the sensor can still create the same milliamps, but there no, there's no way it can read it. This is a shared bus. So this wire has to be here and I'm not too worried about doing that because this is a universal input. So even if I do something wrong, uh, the, the board should be set up to handle it. Let me switch that. All right, so I'm in here now and we, we could read it just for fun to see if my signal's the same, even though I switched it over here. Let's try that. Uh, it's negative, but that doesn't matter. That's just the direction of my clamp because it's DC current. But yeah, still still reading good, even though I, I moved the terminal. Oh yeah, look there. Okay. Right on, man. I wonder how long that's been like that. Probably forever. <laughs> Oh boy, that's crazy. Where, well, all right, let, let's go look and see if Tracer Online is picking up this value now. Oh yeah, we got it. All right, sweet. Well, that was a weird one, but be working good now.